All right, California Governor Gavin Newsom getting a chilly, chilly reception this week, kind of. He tweeted a video of himself all bundled up in air conditioning in the middle of an unprecedented heat wave while urging everyone to cut down on their energy use. Don't use your dryer. It made California steam again. He's also urging everyone to cut back on charging electric vehicles that he told everyone to buy. Quite the conundrum for a governor determined to go green every single day. So why do residents of a state blessed with natural resources like California is have to sweat it out during a heat wave in the summer because somebody is thirsty for conservation that is flat out impractical. Practical. Let's ask Michael Schellenberger. He's the founder of the Environmental Progress Group, author of the book San Francisco and the Time Magazine Hero of the Environment in 2008. Michael, what is California doing wrong? And I only have an hour show. <laughs> well, I mean, the underlying problem is that we're trying to run uh, the fifth largest economy in the world on pre-industrial energy technologies, on renewables. Done a huge amount of solar panels, but just today they announced that because the wildfires are creating so much smoke, it's blocking the electricity from being produced by the solar panels. And so we've been neglecting our forests, we've been neglecting forest management because of putting so much money into things like solar. We also saw that the total amount of electricity from zero carbon sources, which is hydro, nuclear, solar, has actually declined by 10% over the last 10 years. So this obsession with renewables, the desire to shut down functioning natural gas power plants has meant that we're burning more diesel. We're actually burning kerosene, jet fuel. Usually in poor communities in places like Oakland and East LA, where people are most impacted by air pollution. So this is a very serious situation, Brian. You know, when you don't have sufficient electricity and people turn down their air conditioners, you know, people die. People die from heat stroke, people that are elderly and suffering from illness. They're blaming the heat wave. It's not the heat wave. It's decisions that California's made. They have oil. They got gas. It's a responsible way to drill. They won't do it. Gavin Newsom queuing him up for uh, himself for, to run for president is leaving everybody else out to dry and to sweat it out. Rolling blackouts are next. The question to you, Michael, is this. Is there anybody practical enough to say to the people of California, we're building another nuclear power plant, to the people of California, we're going to have to balance out and do an all of the above strategy because I don't think it's right to double your heating bill. I don't think it's right to make it impossible to fill up your combustion engine with gas. Brian, I think it's fair to say that we're at the beginning of the end of wishful thinking both in California, in the rest of the United States, and really in Europe, you see there was a lot of, you know, fantastic ideas that people had about harmonizing with nature, with solar panels and wind turbines and batteries. It's just not working out. We've been concerned about climate change in California for over 20 years. It's basically a state religion, and now they're claiming to be surprised by this heat wave. You know, they declared that they were going to phase out internal combustion engines by 2035. Six days later, they said, don't charge your electric cars between 4 and 9 p.m. at night. So I do think it's a bit of a wake-up call that's going on here. There's nothing like reality to really, you know, slap us in the face. You know, I think it's going to take some time for people to realize just how bad the situation got, right. how close we are to catastrophic blackouts. And, Michael, you're an environmentalist. You understand. You're not somebody who's irresponsible about the environment, but you also don't think it's right to torture the American people with technology that's clearly not ready. Always enjoy having you on, Michael. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.